My name is Jessie Jones and I'm an artist based in Tallaght in Dublin. Um, I suppose, you know, when I was growing up I didn't go to art galleries or anything, so I think I first encountered art by looking at films and on television. Um, I was quite obsessed with movies and old movies and musicals and I think, you know, 1950s American cinema. Um, I think I was in my 20s before I went to an art gallery. The first time I went to an art gallery properly was in MoMA in New York on a family holiday. And uh, I saw a lot of Dali paintings and surrealism and uh, Malevich and kind of blew my mind. And then I came back and really wanted to go to art school and explore that more, you know. My work has always been about, in a way, identity, but in a more uh, thinking about like shared identity. Um, and I suppose when I was in art school, I was really um, involved in politics as well. I was really involved in the anti-war movement. The war in Afghanistan was uh, happening at the time. And I became really involved in activism. And then seeing that that could have a role with art as well became something really interesting to me that art wasn't just this thing in art galleries. It was something that was made in a context of the world and of society. And it had something to speak about in that way. So that really inspired me. And I think from that, from that kind of moment when I was in art school, I'd always been thinking that what is the politics in any moment in an artwork. My work is a lot of times film um, and performance and sculpture and I suppose when I when I originally studied art I studied sculpture so that's still part of the way I think about making film. Um, I, I, started, I came to film through sculpture actually because I made a project when I just graduated from college which was a drive-in cinema um, and I was more interested in the drive-in cinema as a, as a big sculpture, as like a public art sculpture. And then I realised, oh, I'm going to have to make some films to go into the drive-in. So I went back to start looking at making films. But it's always been, uh, in a way, kind of a, 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 a lucky situation that to come to film from the position of something else or from the position of sculpture, because um, you just have a, a different way of thinking about film. Um, and I really love the structure of working with other people. Film is a very like social event, you know, there's a lot of people in the room and um, there's a lot of collaboration and I really enjoy that. You know, I really like I'm in my studio here, but like most days in my studio, I work on my own in my studio, but it's always building towards bringing people together as a group and then making the work in this kind of like production event space or like a film shoot or a performance. So there's, I guess there's that thing between working every day in isolation as an artist and then building up to kind of big moments with other people as well, you know? Um, I suppose from growing up watching films, I think I, I kept that interest in cinema. I, I didn't really totally know there was a pathway to be an artist. Um, when I was in school, but I had a really good uh, art teacher um, in my community school who just really encouraged me. And, you know, I, w I was like drawing like every day, painting every day for hours on end. I would run home from school to make art, but I didn't know that that was a thing. I just loved it so much. And um, my teacher kind of took me aside and was like, you know, you could, you could go to college to do this. And I was like, really? You could go to college to study art? Like, it just, it just didn't seem like it could be true, you know? But then, um, then I started looking into it and it, it really was like an amazing option and it was definitely for me. And um, I was doing my leave insert at the time and I did my portfolio and I applied to NCD and I didn't get into NCD and I was super devastated. Um, but then I went to this amazing college, uh, a PLC course in Ballyferma, and that was fantastic. I met great people there and built up my portfolio uh, specifically on that year. Um, and then went to NCD, uh, studied sculpture for four years. And then I did a master's programme 
um, in IADT. So I went all the way through from PLC degree to master's. So it's quite a substantial chunk of education. Um, but it was totally worth it, you know? And I think the other thing about being an artist is you're constantly learning, like you're constantly testing something out. There's, there, you know more from one day, like with a project than the, you did the day before with that specific project because you're exploring and pushing the, the work. So I think it's a constant learning process. Um, but I would really say that to be an artist, to emerge as an artist, the most important thing is to trust yourself, but also to like really listen to people, like really listen to people who have experience and can advise you. Um, and you know, it's, and really look at art. I always had this thing about when I was really young, I would always like, what, like we didn't really have the internet in the nineties, you know? So I would collect postcards and, art books and like cut out things and like make journals of just collecting images and it's something I still do in my studio like collecting and like bringing images together and seeing how they sit beside each other and I think that became an important part of how I started to understand my particular way of telling stories through images and um, so yeah like look at art oh my god it's the most important thing it's like if you wanted to be a footballer and didn't watch football is the equivalent to like not seeing art when you want to be an artist. So, you know, get out, see as many exhibitions in Ireland are free. So you can go to the Hugh Lane, the, you can go to the Museum of Modern Art, to Rua Red, you can go to all these galleries and museums for free whenever you want. So I would just like, absolutely. That's your best teacher is actually art itself, you know? My favorite part of making artwork is when something happens that you didn't expect to happen and something that you never imagined appears. It's like kind of magic or something. And you can always have a plan and you can always like put something and put the work in and make all your, your plans of what you need to do and get all your materials. But there's always this if you're lucky, there's this moment where something else just clicks and happens and then you, you can see it straight away, like, where did that come from? So I love that part. Um, and I really love collaborating with other people because you have that moment together with another person where you see that thing together. It's really special. I think the best thing about being an artist is having the freedom to explore ideas in a completely different way than all other um, like modes of knowledge or all other kind of schools of thinking. Art, it just does something completely different. And I think it's because it relies on, on, on what we feel and our like unconscious thoughts and unconscious, it's very dreamlike. So it does this crazy thing where it brings up very strange, dreamlike, surreal situations that other, you know, music does that too, definitely. But I think art is just weirder, you know? And I really, lo I really love that about art. It just, you know, it's very freeing. I feel like there's so many places where we can't think freely, you know, and especially, in our country, like we've had such histories of closed down thinking and, and very rigid structures of thinking that art is like this wormhole that you can go through and you can look at things from a completely different perspective. It's true, the rabbit hole. And I love that about it. It's very like a, like a fantasy, but like with, with kind of, you know, also a lot of darkness to it. I always say to my students, when they want to make something and they want to make something about something. And then I always say like, where is the dark part of this? Because if you think about a drawing, you know, when you make a drawing and like a very simple um, still life drawing, you have where the highlights are and you have the mid tones to get the shape of it. And then you have the darkness that allows the image to come from. And I think those principles are totally there from that first moment you make a drawing in that, that style of shaping and shading. 
When you bring that into contemporary art, whether it's film or performance, you still need that balance to tell the story with, with the darkness as well as the light, you know? It's, it's still a held part of art in whatever medium you use, you know? There is not a typical day as an artist. It's, I suppose that's one of the things I love about being an artist is you really, it's up to you to like push your work. It's up to you to completely design where you're thinking and where your work is going. You're very rarely in response to something, you know? Like when you're in college, you might be given a brief that tells you to, to do this a certain way. But when you're an artist, it's completely your own roadmap that you have to find. So um, most days are hopefully, you know, in the morning I will do some emails, though I really hate doing emails. So I really just try to push it to get it done. Um, and then I'll come to the studio here um, drawing or actually during COVID, I noticed that I really wanted to use my hands a lot. So I would make like little like clay things or little clay pieces that were testing out ideas for films. I would work, I work very um, slowly um, and I work without language a lot. So for me, it has to be that I'm with the work and with the materials and testing out and collaborating and working with people. So I might be having meetings. I work a lot with people from lots of different disciplines. So like designers, costume designers, actors, performers, directors of photography, people who work in film, but also work in other industries. And I have to always tell them what I want to achieve. So a lot of my working day is talking. A lot of it is actually talking. <laughs> I'm currently working on a project called The Tower that will open in Brewer Red Gallery um, in Tala in uh, the end of May. And the work is the second part in the trilogy that I began um, a couple of years ago with a work called Tremble Tremble. And that work um, was about the history of the witch and the witch trials. And this work kind of tracks back a couple of centuries and looks at 12th century female mystics and their intensely like beautiful and crazy imagination that they would have during these moments of having visions. Um, and a lot of these women then became accused of heresy. One of them in particular, Marguerite Perrette, was uh, burnt at the stake in Paris in 1311. So there's all of these histories that encapsulate, you know, histories of violence against women, but also behind it, the incredible potential of female imaginaries and storytelling and I'm really excited it, it, it involves a film installation performance large scrim curtains and a Portland stone sculpture so it's my first uh, combining of sculpture um, in stone with film and I'm really excited about that.